I feel like this liquid liquid lipstick. I feel like this liquid lipstick should be dry by now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time stopping by, welcome to my channel for the first time. Hi, my name's Julia, nice to meet you. Here on my channel, you'll find all kinds of things. You'll find, of course, beauty, makeup, you know, I feel like any girl YouTuber, well, okay, no, that's like not true, but a lot of people who are YouTubers are obviously into makeup. So I do makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, skincare, but I also like home decor, unboxings, and obviously if you click on this video you know I like creepy paranormal stories as well so if you're interested in all of that and by the end of this video you would not mind listening to me blab some more then go ahead and hit that subscribe button okay so I know it has been a hot minute since I filmed a paranormal story time which if you want to see any of my previous videos I will go ahead and link a playlist down below because this video is gonna be kind of short today or the story part of it at least I feel like but the reason I have I haven't been putting out paranormal videos is because if you're someone who watches my videos regularly you'll know that about a month and a half two months ago my husband Jesse and I did have our third miscarriage which this video is creepy not sad so I don't really want to go into that I did make a video about it if you kind of want to know more about all of that stuff again I'll link another playlist down below the creepy ones where I have shared my experiences but anyways if you are a believer in paranormal and have had experiences and have done any kind of research you'll know that when you are going through a hard time and you know just your soul and your just being is shaken that is kind of when you are the most vulnerable and susceptible to paranormal energies especially kind of negative ones and you know I just wanted to make sure that I really went through you know my sadness and everything like that before I kept putting out paranormal videos. I don't know, I just didn't want to attract that kind of energy while I was going through a really hard time. And if you're watching this and don't believe in that at all, like that's totally cool. Like I really don't like pushing you know believing in this stuff on people because everybody has lived a different life and believes in different things have experienced different things so if you think it's a load of baloney like i totally understand i don't take offense to it so yeah that's kind of why i've cooled it a little bit on the paranormal videos lately but i'm ready to go i'm ready to share with you some creepy things and actually today i wanted to tell you so i have the creepiest story i have ever heard in my entire life and it is a true life story, it's real. And I originally wanted that to be my first kind of back intro to paranormal videos, but because it's not my story and I'm sharing for somebody else, I just really wanna make sure I get all my facts straight. I have all the details down for you guys. So that will be coming next week. Be on the lookout for that. But guys, that video is gonna be so long. It's gonna kind of make up for how short today's story is, but that video is gonna be so long and it's so creepy. Literally the creepiest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. So that is coming up. Also. Gosh, today's kind of ending up being like almost like a, a life update or I don't know. I'm just, I'm throwing a lot at you guys. So I apologize. Again, if this is your first time watching, I do ramble a lot, but usually not this much. So bear with me, please. But I know a lot of you guys sometimes ask about Jesse, which Jesse's the hubby, and want him to be in videos and want to know more about him. So I'm kind of thinking of doing maybe like a husband tag. And if I'm gonna make a video like that, like I want you guys to ask whatever you are wondering about. So if you guys want me to do a video like that with Jesse, a, a husband tag video, then go ahead and comment down below a question anything you wonder about Jesse and I or anything having to do with that go ahead and ask away like and I'm a very open book I am at least Jesse is kind of a little more reserved sometimes but yeah seriously ask whatever you guys want because if he doesn't want to answer I'll answer it for you guys so if I can get to kind of like 10 to 15 questions then I'll go ahead and make that video for you guys so yeah okay no more rambling, let's get on to what you clicked on this video for. And that is the story of my first paranormal experience. So I was probably around, gosh, I don't know, six maybe, seven. And 
My great grandma, she was just a really, really incredible lady, really kind, just so, just, I don't know, one of those people who are really special. And she died, gosh, I really don't even know how old I was. I don't know, it might have been like six months, a year before I had experienced this. So I was maybe five or six when she died. So the experience I'm about to tell you guys about, like there was no correlation. It wasn't like an anniversary of her death. There was absolutely no correlation. And one night I was sleeping and I woke up in the middle of the night. I really don't remember why, but I just remember waking up and I opened my eyes and I looked at the end of my bed and my great grandma was sitting at the end of the bed and she, okay, so you guys are me in my bed and she was sitting facing this way and she just looked at me. And I just, I really cannot describe you know how a lot of times, especially in Hollywood and photos and just fabricated things, ghosts are depicted as see-through, you know what I mean? No, it literally looked like my grandma was sitting there and she just looked at me and I was terrified because I just, I knew she was gone and it was just so real and I was just terrified. So I screamed and I went under my covers, under my bed. Of course, my mom came in the room. She's like, what happened? You know, what's wrong? Are you okay? And I was like, I saw grandma in Tombstone. I would call her grandma in Tombstone because she lived in Tombstone. But so that's why I said, grandma in Tombstone was sitting on my bed and she looked at me and I'm just, it was so scary and I was fully on expecting my mom not to believe me because it was just, I mean, being so little, I was six or seven, I knew it was crazy. Like what? I just, I didn't think my mom was gonna believe me. And to my surprise, she actually did not, you know, say, oh no, you weren't seeing anything. She didn't shut me down at all. She actually just told me, you know, maybe she just came to visit you and check on you and see that you were okay. And I'm sure she didn't mean to scare you. But if you're really that scared and you don't want to be scared, maybe ask her. Just say like, hey, grandma, like, you know, I really appreciate you visiting me, but it scared me. So maybe could you not visit me? Cause it scares me, which I did. I kind of said that out loud and you know, I wish I could go back. Cause to this day, I've never seen her again. And now that I'm older and not so scared of the paranormal and just I mean, I'm scared of the paranormal, but I'm not so much scared of spirits and everything like that. Like, I always tell people I love, you know, when you die, can you please come visit me? And, you know, I want to know that you're there. So I just, looking back on it, I'm like, oh, I wish I didn't say that because I haven't seen her since then. But that was kind of the first time I've ever really seen anything. I'm sure I might have seen stuff before that, but I just, I don't remember. I'll have to ask my mom too about if I ever said I saw anything when I was younger than that. But again, if you're someone who loves the paranormal and does lots of research, you'll know that children in particular have, I guess, a more, I wouldn't say more developed, I would say less suppressed sixth sense. I honestly believe that everybody is born with kind of that sixth sense where you can sense things that kind of aren't of this world or energies and spirits. And as we get older, you know, you tell your parents, adults, oh, I see this, I see this. A lot of kids have imaginary friends. And you know, adults, if they don't see it, they're kind of just like, oh no, nothing's there. Like, you know, oh, you know, it's not real or you're just pretending, you know what I mean? Like just kind of normal stuff adults say. And that's what kind of suppresses that, you know, ability to pick up on things and everything. And from what I've heard, especially my mom, my mom herself has kind of felt things, seen things. So whenever I was little, like I said, like this experience, she didn't push it off or not believe me. She kind of it wasn't a question that she believed me or not. It was something that she understands, I guess. So anyways, yes, that's kind of my first experience, kind of background on why kids see things. Probably why I now as an adult have experienced things, which lately I haven't really experienced anything knock on wood. So yeah, sorry today's story was really short. Like I said, I will make up for it. Next paranormal video is gonna be super, super, super long. So you will definitely get your paranormal story time fill from me in that video. Thank you guys so much for your continuous support. I really can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in right now. And don't let the bed bugs bite tonight.